Good morning, everybody. You have heard Martin Melody. Very well. It's just after 5:30 here in Dakla, in the southern part of Morocco. I'm leaving today to get to Nuwadibu in Mauritania, my 107th country. So I have to make my way into the city on foot because I don't want to pay for taxis. I know that there is a bus leaving at 8 o'clock from Super Tour's office. I just need to get in there and get a ticket. I'm sure there'll be some available. Or there'll be people, you know, getting lifts into, uh, um, yeah. There's sometimes, sometimes there are actually Mauritanian traders with Mauritanian license plates that do these trips. But, uh, I just know that there is a bus company that goes between here in Nwadi Buani and in as far as Nokshot. But Nokshot would take me all day and I reckon I probably won't get to Nwadi Buani until the afternoon today. Uh, it's good that I finally <coughs> rested tonight uh, because I landed from London to Marrakesh Sunday afternoon and so I've just been traveling for a whole 24 hours from Marrakesh and then I was sharing a room with a German guy today who had actually taken the bus from Agadir so I had traveled longer than he did. Yeah. I mean I wanted to stay in this hotel that was closer to the bus station but they didn't have any availability. So I had to walk three kilometers into town. So that's why I'm, I'm heading out early today. So, yeah, it's, I've, I haven't even been in Africa for 48 hours yet, and I'm making my way to Mauritania. 6 a.m. in the morning, I'm just glad that I started up, but I don't have any regrets of having to walk today, because I just want to save myself a few Durham taxis. Would have been just like maybe 20 dirham in a town, but you know what they are like. Unless you're a foreigner, they want to charge you more. Even I tried using Bolt here. Bolt even just wouldn't go through. It's like we need to verify your credit card details. I'm like I've been using Bolt in other countries. Why can't you just accept it? Or Uber doesn't even work here either. So something I've got to go without for the next few countries. Just trusting locals. Hopefully that thing overcharged too much, because it's like how I spent 10,000 francs on a motor taxi to get to my hotel in Togo, but then it only cost me 5,000 francs to get a taxi to the airport. The airport's right behind me, right here. You can get a flight from Paris to Dakla, but... It's much more cheap if you just fly into Agadir and get a bus down here. How cool is that? It's a shape of the peninsula of Dakla. Beautiful. And down the road, there's actually a teapot you can see. So I just topped up my cash. Uh, got myself an extra 500 Moroccan dirhams. <clears throat> which will be enough to get me to Nwadi Bu. I mean... I'll have to change my Durham's into Mauritanian Ugias once I get to the border. But it's quite an interesting process about crossing the border between the two countries because it's like five kilometers of no man's land that nobody like maintains. And, but also because of like past conflicts, there's landmines. So you need to be with the right people. There was a crazy Indian who walked across the border because he didn't want to pay what, like 20 or so euros? The thing, which is a total ripoff, I get, but when it comes to your own health and safety, you just you want to get through a field of landmines safely. This is pretty much textbook backpacking 101. Because when you look on how to go from Dakla to Nuadibu online, you will get some bloggers who will tell you about going to super tours in the town city but then 
wiki travel might see something else like oh there'll be Mauritanian traders coming and going and you could be able to get like a lift with them or you could hitchhike which when you come to think about it I never really hitchhike in my life because I just think it's a <clears throat> it's too much of a cheapskate it's like okay there are people driving the road going from A to B and you ask them for a lift fair enough it's good but then but then there are like so many businesses that are going from A to B uh, like there was no way in hell I could hitchhike from Marrakesh to Dakla in a day that would be blatantly impossible that's why I stuck with the bus routes and also I was, I was killed for time because I've only got like 200 weeks away so for anybody who wants to go to Mauritania the cheap way without flying your best bet is just, as I said before, fly to Agadir, Marrakesh, and then get a bus straight down to Dakla, and then you'll be able to get a bus in the morning, 8 a.m., from Super Tours that leaves at 8 and goes to the border crossing. And then, then it, depending on what you pay, you'll get a lot of Nwani Boo or Nok Shot. Yeah. So, I've chosen Nwani Boo over Nok Shot because. I just think it's a bit dumb if I just go into Nokshot and then go up to Atar and then later on the Zurad take the Arnold train across. Because I'd be back up in Nuwadi Bu and my main aim is just to head south. So it seems right just to go to Nuwadi Bu, get the train across to Chum, I can easily get to Atar and Chingeti and then back down to Nokshot, then easily on the way to St. Louis in Senegal. Alright. Stuff to seven. Nobody's in the super tour's office yet. Even though, though the first bus leaves at eight, I just had a car drive by, trying to offer me something. And I thought, nah, I really don't want to be taking this to strangers today, unless I know where I'm going. There's an eight o'clock bus that goes to the border. It actually departs from the waterfront near that teapot, but then there's also another bus station. They dropped me off yesterday, so I went in one part of so I just get on board. And I was like, okay, so I figured out a way to get the Nuwadi Bu once I get to the border. But um, everyone here is going back home to Mauritania. So I haven't even bought a physical ticket, but I went to the office and Super Tour was just like, so gonna like, get on the bus. I was like, well, it's like 190 dirhams. So they take it to this bus station to get more people on. Uh, that's game one. I was like, look, it's 200. Can I get a ticket? Refuse my money. Just let me sit there. So I don't know if they want to keep me on it or not, but there are some empty seats. I'm down. They're gonna pick up other people. But like I know I'm heading on to Mauritania because I can see Mauritanian people on this bus going back home. <sighs> so heading out of the peninsula of Dakar back to well, the mainland. I don't expect to get to the border till I guess four in the afternoon. Then I'm gonna have to like pay my way to get over to Nuwadi Bu. But I should still pay because I don't believe in free rides. Okay, I think I've left the peninsula now. Mm. Really nice resorts, those into that rock right there. Oh, that must cost like maybe a hundred euros a night. I made it to a roadside stop. The pan. Just had an egg and some tea. Stopped here for a few minutes. Used the toilet, which was a relief because I hadn't used the toilet since I left the hotel. Yeah, so this is. Uh, I'm going to say breakfast. I mean, I had breakfast business, so it's a bit of a lunch to me.
So this heart on the map that is to symbolise the Tropic of Cancer. So this is the first time in my life that I'm actually crossing that. So the funny thing is, let's, let's just say if this was January right now, it would still be a bit cold. Oh. In more maybe northern Morocco, but once you cross this line, you're in the tropics. So <laughs> you you probably wouldn't really need, really need these jackets, but. I hear people who travel on the train, they don't really need jacks, it's just cold at night. So, uh, i got a long way to go. I'm going to go all the way down. It's that border point. The coast. Mm. This town, uh, yeah, Gugurat. Then I have to, after I leave Gugurat, I have to get another bus. Cost to head down to Nwadibu. Right there. I have just crossed the Tropic of Cancer here in Morocco. Uh, the bus wasn't gonna like stop and like photographs, but I do one thing. If I go to Taiwan, I can go to a proper monument easily. I mean, I was thinking of going to Taipei this year, especially like this time of the year. But I was like, nah, North Africa is much cheaper than Northeast Asia. So, look at me. I've crossed the equator in Brazil, the Tropic of Capricorn, South Africa, Namibia, and now I've crossed the Tropic of Cancer in Morocco. The nice thing about this bus is it, that clock doesn't tell you the time, it actually tells you how long you've been on the road for. So, it means I've been on the road for 4 hours and 19 minutes. I mean, it is nice to have a clock to let you know what the time is, but everyone's got phones these days. Just got another 40 or so miles to the border, or how you say in French, frontier. Just people getting off, because I saw some fishermen getting off here, and I was like, oh, it's a fishing town. Well, yeah, the Atlantic Ocean is nearby. So we've made a few more stops on the way to the frontier, picked up more people, but we've got like less people now than, than we had in Dakla. So most people just got off here to their business, get their homes, and then we see a lot of people from Mauritania, or maybe other parts of Africa, getting on this bus, going to the frontier. Crossing this border, I'm actually, I've actually just crossed the Tropic of Cancer, but I'm also crossing from North Africa to West Africa, because Mauritania is classed as West Africa, but I used to think Mauritania was North Africa, because it's the Maghreb region, like Mauritania, Morocco, Algeria, Tunis, Libya, Egypt, that's all Maghreb. -y. I don't know if I should, if I should call Egypt Mike Arabia or not, but you get the picture. Mm. Yes, no mountains in this part of Morocco. There's no loads of flat desert landscape. I nice to see all these rocky hills right here. And it's sand dunes on the horizon. But it's just one main road going to Mauritania. And then that side. Is the Atlantic Ocean, but we're more inland now. So can't see the seaside yet. So I'm only about four or so miles from the border crossing. I decided to let this guy off over here. So I'll see you on the other side of the border in no man's land. So stamped out of Morocco back then. Just waiting for this van to fill up the people and we'll go out to Nwadi Bu. After entry Mauritania, should be my 107th country. So, for the next five kilometers, it's just no man's land. I have just arrived in my 107th country of Mauritania. Boy, that border crossing is a process. Like, run to this office, run to that office, go to this guy, get a piece of paper, go to this other office, pay a visa fee. Matter of fact, they even wrote my visa that I was Irish. 
mean, I'm not a citizen of Ireland, but I am of Irish descent. So we're just heading on the lone road down to Nawadibu on the peninsula, so Morocco's on the way back there. So now it's going to be onwards for the next few days, around Mauritania until I hit Senegal. I just saw a glimpse of the island train a few minutes ago. So I'm going to upload it onto my shorts later on, you'll see another video. But the Arnold train leaves at midnight and I'm really too tired of going on today so I've traveled the whole length from the deck to get here. So I'm just going to rest up in the Wadi Bu, hostel, have a look around, get some good night's sleep. I think I'm going to be in the Wadi Bu for over 24 hours, much longer than I've ever been to Marrakesh or Dekla. Well, it's been a long journey to get to New Bu. Oh my god, like I left Dakla at 8 o'clock today. I'm sure I don't get hit by these cars, yes. That's 8 o'clock today. And I'm here, it's like 5 o'clock. I've had to turn my clock back an hour. I paid 55 euros for the visa. It's quite an interesting experience. This was a border I really wanted to take. No textbook, but a book I really need. But like, everything followed suit. I didn't have to pay extra. I paid a total of like 300 durham to get me from Dakla to here. No, it's not too bad. So, I'm gonna go find a hotel for tonight. Backpackers place on the way, then Auberge. I'd say say hostel in French, Auberge. Not, not Aubergine, but Auberge. Okay, I found a bus I could take to get out of Mardi Gras if I feel like it, but my main aim is I'm gonna get on the train tomorrow, tomorrow evening, and then there'll be a way to get out all the way to Tume. So, I'm just walking into town, Find my aubergine, my aubergine, my hostel, yes. So I'm trying to avoid getting hit by cars. And the streets of Africa have never really changed depending on what many countries you go to. I mean, it's not that pretty, but well, what can you do? Just, uh, just avoid potholes and watch where you're walking.